Good morning. God bless you this morning. The God keep you. Thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. I want to um, share with you, talking about, you know, I know a lot of you probably uh, seen courts on TV and, you know, and um, Christians suing one another, supposed to be in the world of God, supposed to be in church, whatever. Church supposed to be in you. And they lost to them one another. I was like, one time I seen them, I'm like, both of y'all supposed to be Christian, and he supposed to be preaching, and, he, and they suing each other, one another. I'm like, how did that come about? You know, to myself, I was, I was just like, think I'm like, wow, that's crazy. But anyway, I'm going to read here, talking about avoiding lawsuit with Christians. Um, out of 1 Corinthians chapter 6. It says, uh, when one of you has a dispute with another believer, how dare you file a lawsuit and ask a seller court to decide the matter instead of taking it to other believers? Don't you realize that someday we believers will judge the world? And since you are going to judge the world, can't you decide even these little things among yourself? You know what I'm saying? Can you can you fix these yourself? Decide, you know, taking it to court. It says, don't you? It says, uh, don't you realize that you will? Don't you realize that we will judge angels? So you should surely be able to resolve ordinary dispute in this life. And you have legal dispute about such matter. Why go to outside court? I mean, why go to outside judge who are not respect who are not respected by the church? I am saying this to shame you. That's what the book says. I am saying this to shame you. Isn't there anyone in all the church who is wise enough to decide these issues? But instead, one believer sues another right in front of unbelievers. That's also in the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 28. It says even to have such lawsuit with one another is a defeat for you. Why not just accept the injustice and leave it as that? Why not let yourself be cheated instead of you, instead of you yourself are the one who do wrong and cheat even your fellow believers? Do you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sins or who worship idols or commit adulteries or all or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or, or abusive or cheat people, none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. You were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit, thou God. And verse 7 says, uh, you know, talks about uh, avoiding, this is talking about avoiding lawsuit, you know, avoiding lawsuit. And also talk about avoiding sexual sin. In verse 12, of, uh, chapter 6, verse 12 of 1 Corinthians, I'm going to read that also while I'm right here. It says, you say I am allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. And even though I am allowed to do anything, I must not become a slave to do, you know, to anything. You say food were made for the stomach, for the stomach, for food. This is true. Though someday God will do a, uh, God will do a way with both of them. But you can't but you can't say that our body were made for sexual immorality. They were made for the Lord, and the Lord cares about our body. And God will raise us from the dead by his power just he just as he raised our Lord from the dead. Don't you realize that your body are actually part of Christ? Should a man take his body, which is part of Christ, and join it to a prostitute? Never. And don't you realize that if a man join himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her. For the scripture says, 
the two are united into one. But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. That's also in John chapter 17 verse 21. Says run from sexual sin. Don't don't uh don't other sin so clearly. He says no other sin clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Don't you don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. And that's also Romans chapter 6, verse 12. Praise God. That God bless you. Thank you for listening and hoping that you take heed in that. And, you know, I'm like, this is the book. It's what it says. Why well, I say believers and Christians, they go to church. I mean, you know, some probably don't even read the Bible, and if they do, they're not taking heed of it, they're not doing what they say do, they're not following it, they're not even probably trying to. They're still doing what they want to do. They don't want to watch things happen, and all this chaos goes on in their life also. And they may want to suppose even know better. But anyway, um, I read here uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6. The whole chapter 6, praise God, out there in the NLT Bible, praise God. And I just want to share with you out the, um, on my other book, I'm up to, I'm going to read about inspiration. And then I'm going to give you the book out the, um, inspiration, what I'm reading out of, praise God. Inspiration, it says, but there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giving them understanding, unless thy law had been made delight, I should then have perished in my affliction. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The spirit of man is a candle of the Lord, searching all the inward part of the belly. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good, report. If there be any virus, and if there be any praise, think on these things. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Praise God. And I read from out the book of Job, chapter 32, verse 8, Psalm 119. Verse 92 and 105, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27, Luke chapter 12, verse 12, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. You can do all things through Christ to strengthen you. You can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Praise God. What I always pray about and what I always tell you all, but that's in Philippians. Chapter 4, verse 13. Praise God. God bless you all. God keep you. I'm going to pray for each and every last one. I'm pray this message has been a blessing to you. The word is read, you know, about reading and study, meditating. And most of all, it's about doing. You know, it's about doing the will of God. Doing the will of God for your life. Praise God. Um, there's nothing, you know, as I always say, nothing works without God, you know. So, you know, just be blessed in the Lord and do your best. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, pray for the Lord is watching. God bless you. God keep you. I pray the Lord is be with you, lead you, and guide you, and protect you wherever you're about to go today. On the bus, in the car, driving, or walking, or just exercising. Maybe you're not going nowhere. Maybe you're going to catch a plane or a train or, I don't know, riding a motorcycle or scooter, waiting on the cab or waiting for somebody to pick you up. I just pray the Lord just lead you and guide you. Wherever you have to go and back home, say for Jesus' name. God bless your kids, your grandkids, if you have any. God bless them, Lord, straighten them. You know, I pray they get in the world. I pray you will show them and read it to them. If they can't read now, I pray they get in the world and do the will of God for their life. Nothing works without God. No matter what nobody say, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You all will be blessed and um, do what's right. Love one another. Do your best. He said it's going to be easy. Just do your best. Do your part and 
you know, he will uh, do his. You know, he just wants you to do yours, obey him, acknowledge him in all that you do. Don't put nothing before God, because he cares and loves you. He is a jealous God. And I pray in my name of Jesus, you'll take heed in the word and do the will of God for your own life. In Jesus' name I pray. Pray for one another. You know, hate on one another. Pray for one another. Don't talk about one another. Talk to one another. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory be to God. And I rebuke every demon, every devil right there. I'm trying to tell you, trying to hold you down. I'm trying to tear you apart. I'm trying to put all the sickness and disease in your body and everything. I'm trying to let you, trying to get you to give up. And I pray in the name of Jesus, God healed you already. If you have to believe and know that you was healed by his strike, you are, you is healed. In Jesus' name, because I believe you is healed. You just have to know and believe for yourself and walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, I pray. Glory be to God. I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You will just make the Lord your life and you can make him your savior in Jesus' name. You have to come to him. Go to him in prayer. Go to the Lord, whatever your situation it is. Go to him. He hears you. He wants you to come to him. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you and God keep you in Jesus' name. I pray to each and every last one of you have a joyful day. And I pray the Lord has protected the angels around you in Jesus' name. In every day of your life. If you are somebody, you need some good in you in Jesus' name, I pray. Glory be to God. God bless you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. So, I just thank God. You know, once again, I thank God for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up and giving me strength. You know, and waking me up in the right state of mind. You know, I just thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for being a part of me. I thank you, Jesus. I'm a part of you. Praise God. Hallelujah. But anyway, God bless you and God keep you. And remember, until next time, always, God love you and so do I. Praise God. Amen.